Microsoft has all but stated that the Database Availability Group is the unit of protection for your Exchange email. You can create database availability groups in a single site, or you can create them across multiple sites. Well, one of the hardest parts about dealing with DAGs is building up the networks you need in order for them to do their replication, as well as their mappy connections that connect them with their ultimate end user. In this upcoming micro nugget, based on my recent CBT nuggets series on the 70-341 series, I give you the info on how to set up networks for your database availability groups. You'll see that the two DAG networks have been created down here, the MAPI DAG network and the Replication DAG network 01. These were created because uh, by default, uh, the exchange will use its automatic networking to, to configure those networks. If you want, you can actually make some modifications to the networks as well. Here, you'll see I can choose to create a new DAG network here where I could add in additional subnets if I wanted to. Now, if I try to do that, I'm going to get an error message at this point because in order to do that, I'm going to have to make a little change over here that says go ahead and allow me to manage these network groups manually and, and, and not with the automatic solution that's built into the Exchange DAG wizards. Now, built into this, there's no really good way to identify what the networks look like and whether or not the, 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 the wizard has created the networks appropriately for the MAPI and the replication networks. So in order to see that, we actually have to go back down into the PowerShell here really quick and take a look at some of the network commandlets that are available and exposed to us. Uh, what I want to show you are the, the, there's a couple of commandlets here that are associated with DAGs. Uh, and if I do GCM to where uh, name, name like uh, network, then that will show me the couple of commands I'm interested in looking at. The first is get database availability group network. And the other is just simply get database availability group. If I do get uh, database database availability group, that'll just tell me about the, the DAG that I created. But if I do get database availability group network, it will show me more about the two subnets that it created. Here's the MAPI DAG network, which is set to 192.168.5.0. It is currently up. And there's the replication network, which is our 10050 net. So the automated solution has, has worked correctly, and I now have my replication traffic over a different pair of interfaces than what I would have for my, my client facing or my front bound traffic. Want to learn more? Check out cbtnuggets.com.